doing a video that I've actually, um, I saw a girl on YouTube do it. I just found her channel the other day. Her name's Jacqueline, Jacqueline Brooke, I think. Um, and yeah, so she has a, another channel besides her main channel called Flourish. And on there, she does a whole heap of Christian videos um, and things like that. Um, and one of her videos on there, I think it was the first video, it was um, her testimony. And then after I watched that, a whole heap of other YouTube videos started popping up on my recommended um, saying my testimony and all that. And so I thought it was a really cool idea and I thought I would share with you guys my testimony on um, how I got saved and just my Christian life and all that kind of stuff because I thought you guys um, might be interested to know. Um, so yeah, but before we get on to the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video and yeah. So I don't have a script or anything um, for this video. Um, I just don't really do scripts like when I, I either am looking down all the time or I sound like a robot when I'm saying it. So I prefer to just sort of just speak normally, um, but because of that, I might get a bit lost and I might have to take a minute to think um, and remember things. I honestly haven't even really thought about what I'm gonna say or haven't even really thought about like what my testimony is or whatever. Um, so yeah, um, if it's a bit mishmash, I'm really sorry, but um, yeah. So um, where should we start? I suppose I'll start off by telling you that um, I grew up in a Christian family my whole life. Um, ever since I was born, I've practically been in church every single Sunday unless I'm sick or unless I've been traveling or something like that. Um, but pretty much every single Sunday of my whole life, I've been in a church. Um, and so, yeah, that's just the way I was raised. Um, and I never really honestly um, thought too much about being saved. I was a little kid um, and like that's just what my family had always done. We just sort of always went to church and so that was just kind of what we did and I didn't really think about you know needing to be saved myself or whatever. Um, so yeah I never really thought about that. Um, and then one Wednesday night I specifically remember it was a Wednesday night after church um, and our pastor, we were living in a place called Caboolture at the time um, near Brisbane in Queensland, Australia um, and um, my pastor um, preached that night on heaven and hell. I'm not really sure why he did it on a Wednesday night or I'm not, I can't even remember to be honest if it was the entire concept of the message but I know that was included in the message is that um, yeah we needed to be saved and um, yeah there are two places called heaven and hell um, and so I was really scared and um, being a little kid I didn't want to go to hell um, and so yeah when I, I thought about it and then when I got home especially when I got home and I was laying in bed that night um, my sister and I were sharing bunk beds at the time and I was laying in my bunk bed and um, I was thinking about it a lot and um, it scared me so I asked my mum and dad to come in and I asked them how I could be saved and I asked them to help me and so they kind of because I was so young they kind of had to help me like guide me through the prayer and stuff because I didn't really know what to say I didn't really know what I was um, asking for but I did know that in my heart that it was me that wanted it it wasn't my parents um, and yeah even though they were helping me sort of get the words out and stuff like that it was still in my heart it was still me um, that was asking for it so yeah um, I got saved then and I just remember being really excited about it and I went and called my pastor's wife um, I, I kind of thought that it was really late um, if I was sick, so it probably wasn't that late. It was probably like 7.30 or 8 o'clock at night. I don't know, but um, yeah, I called my pastor's wife and um, I told her that I got saved and she was really excited and my pastor's really excited and I was really excited and yeah, um, yeah, I was baptized when I was um, 12. Um, a few, I, I did know, my sister had been baptized before and I did know about 
baptism after salvation to um, sort of um, a, be a public testimony and let people know that um, you are a Christian and you're um, following Christ. Um, and so yeah, I did know about baptism, but I was a bit too scared to do it on my own because I was a little kid. And then when I was about 12, um, a couple of my friends were actually getting baptized. So I decided to get baptized too because I thought it would be a lot easier with my friends. So yeah, I did that. Um, but yeah, that's basically the whole gist of my testimony. Um, yeah, I've kind of, I've struggled with salvation and stuff like that along the way because um, I was so young when I got saved and you know how um, people teach on, you know, when you get saved, there's like this dramatic turnaround and you know, people have these massive big testimonies um, where they, you know, they were on drugs and all this kind of stuff and then they, um, you know, were saved and then the whole life sort of turned around. but. I didn't have that, sorry, there's a motorbike going down the street if you can hear that. Um, but yeah, I didn't I didn't have that testimony. Um, I was just a little kid, you know, the worst thing I did was probably steal ginger nuts out of the cupboard um, and eat them even though my mum told me not to. So um, yeah, I, I did struggle with salvation for a while, but actually one of my friends, one of my guy friends I remember saying one time, he was giving his testimony. And I remember one really good thing that he said that really helped me and he said that um, he was really grateful that God was merciful enough to him to save him from a life from sin, uh, a, a life of sin, sorry, instead of a life of sin that he'd already lived. So um, yeah, like that's the way I kind of feel God saved me from um, even getting into all those sins in the first place in my teenage years and young adults years. Um, um, he saved me from that earlier instead of me getting into all those sins and then him having to um, save me from them and change me into a new person. So yeah, I'm just, I'm really grateful for it in that way and I'm grateful that I got to grow up in a Christian family um, because I know a lot of people don't have the opportunity to do that and I know it's really hard for a lot of people because they might be the only one in their family who's saved or whatever um, and yeah, I know it can be really difficult, um, even children who get saved and then they want to go to Sunday school and church, but it's really hard for them to because their parents don't want them to, or they can't get there because they don't have a license. And so I'm just really grateful that my whole life I've grown up just being able to have the opportunity to go to church and, um, be around Christian friends and stuff like that. My mum and dad always had me around, um, Christian young people. So, um, I did go to school for a little while, but like I've never had to struggle really. I was very young, so I never really had to struggle with the peer pressure of unsaved friends trying to um, like peer pressure me into doing things that I didn't want to do. Um, yeah, I've never really had that um, because I've always just been surrounded by Christian friends and things like that. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else I could say. Um, but yeah, I think, I think, um, because when you get saved and you're six years old, you don't really know what you're doing, obviously. Like, I got saved because I wanted to go to heaven, you know what I mean? And, um, which is, which is fine and it's good. Um, but kind of as you grow up and get a bit older and also as you grow um, as a Christian you kind of realize that there's a bit more to being a Christian than just wanting to go to heaven when you die sort of thing there's um, a lot more to it than that and you, you know you need to be an example and you need to you know be witnessing to people and things like that so um, I'm just yeah I'm really glad that God's been helping me to grow as a Christian and I'm so much further along than I was when I got saved at six years old and yeah even just in the past two or three years I've just grown so much as a Christian and I can really see that and I'm really grateful um, that God's helping me do that um, because it's only him that can help me do that like I'm not I'm nothing special I can't do that on my own like I'm no better than anyone else or anything like that um, it's just that God's been really helping me and really blessing me and so, yeah, I'm pretty sure 
that's all I really need to say. But um, I hope this has really been a help to you guys and um, I hope maybe it's blessed some of you or if some of you are like me and you were saved at a really young age and you don't have that big massive elaborate testimony that you were saved from all this wicked wicked life or whatever um, because I don't have that either I just have a very simple testimony um, but yeah it doesn't mean that um, God didn't save you and it doesn't mean that um, if your heart was right when you asked for God to save you then that's all that matters so thanks so much for watching this video um, if you enjoyed it and if it was a blessing to you um, please like and also subscribe to my channel um, it really helps me when you subscribe to my channel so I would love for you to do that um, and yeah I think